Welcome to SAS, short and sweet tips for the business sector from the Case Mastermind Group. So uh, I hope that sort of glides us nice and neatly to uh, uh, your third oh. point, Gary. Partners. <coughs> Partners. Now, it is so important, so important. Um, behind every successful person, male or female, behind every successful person is a bigger successful person that no one don't know who their name is, don't know who they are, but they are the most important thing because they are the cheerleader. That person who's successful, they're, they're their hero, and they're the ones that encourage them you can do it and when you're down if you've got that person with you they lift you up <clears throat> that is so important and i say that if you've got a partner wife husband <clears throat> it's important that they complete you not compete against you because if they're competing against you you have got no chance no chance and i always say you know if if the household is divided, it crashes. Yeah. If it's in an office, if it's divided, it crashes. Look at Parliament. It's divided. It's crashing. <laughs> yeah. When things are divided, look at look at Tottenham Hotspur's dressing room. It's divided, and they're struggling <laughs> for a great a great group of players and a good team. Suddenly, there's something not right. In that dressing room somewhere, they're divided and ain't doing well. So yeah. that's whether that's relationships, your, your marriage, your business, whatever it is. Everyone has to be collectively together. You know, I, I had a wife that said, why, why didn't you be a normal man? Why didn't you be a normal husband? Come on and sit down and watch Coronation Street and EastEnders. But I said, I'm, this is me, me being normal. Watching that crap ain't me being normal. I have to go do stuff. I'm always on a mission. We're always here. <laughs> <laughs> this is me. This is me being normal. <laughs> but it's so important for, to, to find that partner that is going to encourage you and, and uh, just back you in every step of the way. You know? And I'm fortunate now to have my fourth wife that I'm a hero. She's my biggest cheerleader, and she she is the one who's encouraged me to write the book. I'm I'm halfway writing the second one, and it's a, her encouragement all the time. It's her encouraged me to get on that stage, go help people, and she will be with me every step of the way. And that's what I've always been looking for. Always, I have I have friends say, you know, what's the secret of a successful marriage or relationship? I said. The way I look at it is that, say you go out on a Friday night with your mates and you're having fun, you have a few drinks, you're not completely pissed, but you're having fun, you're having a few drinks. And when you go at home and you put your key in that front door, when you walk in, have you got to change your complete attitude or can you carry on the same? Mm. Yeah. Mm. You go in there, you've got to be a different person and she starts to have a go. You don't... You, uh, this ain't right. It's, it's just not. If if there's no love at the table, it's time for you to go. That's important. Yeah, I've, I've, yeah. We know I mean, many. Oh, we know so many couples that are walking around in quite desperation. Yeah. Because they don't. There's no love at the table. There's no love in the home. There's, you know, they don't want to be with one another. They've outgrown one another because they've been on different paths. But they say. Oh, you know, it's the children. We can't leave because of the children. That's hogwash. Complete hogwash. It's the money. It's only money. Because they say, well, you know, um, I've paid for the mortgage. And, you know, well, we've got this house and we've got all this. And if I leave, I'll have to sell me car and live in a flat. And, yeah, and I've got a power. It's money. Me, my attitude is I'd rather live in a tent. I've given all my money away. You know, I've had three big houses and I've just walked out and given them to them. So look, it's yours. I don't need it. I need happiness. 
My health is so important. So I, I can live in a tent and be happy without going in and not walking through that front door. You know, so it's, um, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. really important. If you don't, you know, if you ain't got a partner, you're on your own, go do what you want. <laughs> but if you've got a partner, you've, they've got to be working together. I've always said, if you get a, if you get a big shy horse, that shy horse can pull a ton. On his own, he can pull a ton. But if you put two shy horses together, they can pull three ton. Yeah. Because they're working together. And if you've yeah. got a couple, you work together. Yeah. Work together. Yeah. Very, very true, Gary. Very true, Gary. Yeah. Um, I, you know, it, I've heard someone speak on relationships before and um, he made a very, very strong point that if you've got two selfish people, it's yeah. going to be like going into a bonfire full of fireworks all the time because they're both pulling yeah. in their own direction. And yeah. um, the... It gets worse when you've got a very selfless person and a selfish person because that relationship then becomes very abusive. This person's yeah. always giving and this person is always taking. Um, but when you've got yeah. two selfless people that want to make each other happy and the things that they're doing all the time is because they know it makes the other person happy, um, that is just... A, just such a all about giving, match. giving. Yeah, absolutely. All about, yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, I, do you remember that um, a story about the spoons with the long handles? You ever heard that one, Gary? No, go on. So there's um, there's a there's a bunch of people sitting opposite on each other on a very wide table, um, and. Uh, They've got these long six foot spoons and they're trying to feed themselves and they're completely miserable. And yeah. then you, um, you, you look at another place. I mean, they, they, they sort of gave that as a vision of hell and then there was heaven and, and heaven. Um, there was the same table, um, people sitting opposite each other with these long spoons. But what they realized was that they could feed each other. And it yeah. was such a perfect analogy that they just yeah. realized, oh look, if I feed you, you can feed yeah. me. And yeah. they were in perfect harmony. Same situation, oh. but a totally yeah. different attitude. And more and more people, when they realize that actually, by giving, by being selfless, and helping other people, then the help will come back to them. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It's so important to be together. Um, and, and one of the biggest problems I've found is, is that, you know, every single one of us have got our own private rules. What time we get up in the bed, what time we get up in the morning, do we like milk in our tea? Do we, it's all these personal rules. Now, conflict come is because people don't talk to one another. They don't talk openly about one another's feelings and, 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 and things like So if we don't know what the rules are of that person, their private, their private rules, personal rules, we're always going to keep crossing them. There's always going to be falling out because people just do not talk. They really do not talk. They don't talk about personal things. You know, when you're in a new relationship, you know, you've got three months of having sex in every place there is on the planet, doing everything. But once that's, once that's done after three months, uh, what do we talk about then? Have we got anything in common? Is there anything? <laughs> and this has been the problem, you know, through generations after generations. You've got to talk, find out what the... Per and then once you know the people's personal rules, then we can adapt them so we can both share and both work together. It's because a lot of people just do not talk. We don't talk about things like that. I don't know why. Just, just, just don't. No, that's right. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, you know, yeah. to talk and to communicate, but also the ability to listen, Gary. Uh, yeah. Not just to hear, but to actually listen. 
and take yep. that on board, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I've always said we've got two ears and one one mouth, so we should always use it accordingly. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm still struggling to find that balance myself, Gary. <laughs> yeah, I do. You have, to keep, you have to keep in check all the time, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> so true. So true. No, but some really good advice there, Gary. Um, so I think that 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 um, that subject on partners, yeah, really important. Um, that selfless yeah. um, relationship with each other. Thank you for spending time with us today. This has been brought to you by the Case Mastermind Group. Please be sure to follow us in the links to this message. Please give your real honest feedback on what you have just heard and share what you enjoyed or liked the best. We really do check the feedback that we receive. Please also share with your friends who you believe could benefit from it just to show you care. To our listeners, remember, no matter where you are on the mountain of success, let's enjoy the journey together to the top. We will see you there, my friends.